श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम ओ सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ श्री सद्गुभ्यो नम ओ ध्यामी चिन्मयानंद गुरदेव महामति प्रेम पूर्ण क्रियाशील सदा लोकहितेर कृपालु सुंदराकार सत्यदर्शिन वाचा तत्वशिन्य शोकमोह विनाशिन ओ श्री चिन्मय सद्गुरव नम नमो नारायणाय हो नमो नारायणाय हो नमो नारायणाय हो नमो नारायणाय नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ृतगं सत्यम परम ब्रह्म पुषम कृष्ण पिंगल ऊर्धरेत विरूपाक्ष विश्वय वै नमो नम ओ नारायणा विमे वासुदेवाय धीम तो विष्णु प्रचोदया हरि ओम सुप्रभात वाम वेलकम ओ शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यानोपा ओ शाताकारुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिहृद्यानगम्यम वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय फोर्टी विक्षरोरोहि तो मार्गो हेतुर्दामोदर सह महीधरो महाभागो वेगवानिताशन उद्भव क्षोभणो दीगर्भर कर्ण कारण कर्ता विकर्ता गहनो गुह व्यवसाय व्यवस्थ 
स्थान संस्थान स्थान दो ध्रुव परर्धि परम स्पष्टस्तुष्ट पुष्ट शुभे क्षण एक्सेप्ट फॉर द लास्ट नामा वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑल द नामा इन द श्लोक शुभे क्षण a very 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 beautiful nama ikshanam darshanam yasya shubham sah subhekshanah when bhagavan's ikshanam when bhagavan looks when bhagavan sees and darshanam of bhagavan look at the difference ikshanam is from the standpoint of bhagavan looking at us and darshanam from our standpoint looking at bhagavan both yasya shubham sah shubhe kshanah he is shubha ikshanah both are auspicious what is auspiciousness that which is good and by which our purity of mind increases and takes us forward in the path of sadhana they are auspicious anything anything that that is good which purifies our heart and takes us forward towards bhagwan is shubha <coughs> auspiciousness our ikshanam seeing him is definitely is shubham because whenever we look at bhagavan the thoughts of the mind changes from the regular feature again one has to be careful in understanding very many times we look at bhagavan look at bhagavan meaning what either the murti or the picture or the photo or whatever very many times we look at him but we don't see him why we don't see him our mind is not in that looking how many times it happens more often we are all very very well uh, experienced from our childhood in our classroom whenever the lecture lecturer goes on lecturing we are looking at him we actually don't see him at all why our mind has gone for a free trip vedanta class why always blame children sometimes children are better sometimes they are uh, 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 attentive because their minds are not that contaminated like ours they are still pure enough not yet contaminated we may say so elders especially when they are sitting in the vedanta class the very fact they come to vedanta class is purify the mind but sitting in the vedanta class what where is their mind when i say where is their mind you may also include include yourself in that crowd how often do we really listen how often we go alla how often do we really listen because more often we are out isn't it our mind is so absent wherever you are mind is not there it is not an exaggeration i am 100% sure you will 100% agree with this statement think therefore what happens even though the eyes are open even though naturally our uh, uh, by birth the ears are wide open till we don't see anything very more often we don't even listen to it this physical body 85 kg is sitting at one point in front of the teacher there are speakers 100 watts 250 watts 1000 watts speaker or oh, not speaker speakers think with great lighting and everything we sit in that huge hall of vedanta and the speaker he is speaking trying to make you understand the truth of the whole universe where are we 
वी आर वी वी आर ऑन ए ट्रिप अराउंड द यूनिवर्स विथ इन फ्रैग मैटर ऑफ फोर्टी मिनट्स फाइव मिनट्स आई एम गिविंग ग्रेस फॉर योर होप थिंकिंग दैट यू मे लिसन 40 minutes you go to the other side of the globe to america where you are probably your ch children or grandchildren are there and you come back before the class is over how efficient you are think we hardly see we hardly hear because our mind is absent when now please when we are able to see the picture whatever even that itself is great let alone seeing bhagwan himself to see bhagwan in the bimba form or in the picture form and give our mind is a blessing it is auspicious why when actually we see a one single thought of prayer Gita says, "Swalpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayate." All that dharma etc. You leave. Swalpam apyasya drishyasya. We may add there instead. When we look at Bhagavan and we see the beauty of the Bhagavan presented to us, there is so much of joy, isn't it? Be it Mahavishnu. be it shri rama or shri krishna or devi or ganapati or whoever is your ishta devata the moment you see there is a thought of bhagavan that thought of bhagavan is auspicious that thought of bhagavan is a blessing and therefore we will see in the next nama a similar thought we will come to that is auspicious shubham he whose ikshanam whose ikshanam when it is said when he looks at us he doesn't look at us with absent minded that is only our mind don't say never mind when he looks at us he looks at us 100% and when he looks at us he sees through us everything regarding us therefore when bhagwan looks at us with love with care etc it is so auspicious it is so wonderful we are blessed and we must deserve for that ikshanam that is very important we must deserve for that ikshanam meaning our activity our attitudes everything should be of that quality that bhagwan turns his eyes कटाक्ष दृष्ट्या इवन विद द कॉर्नर ऑफ द हाउस इफ ऑफ द आई इफ इट फॉल्स ऑन अस वी आर ब्लेस्ड वी आर डन विथ अवर वर्क इन दिस वर्ल्ड इन दिस यूनिवर्स नो मोर पुनर्जन्म दैट इज अ ग्लोरी ऑफ भगवान ई क्षण देर फोर ई क्षण दर्शन ये शुभम सह सुभेक्षण देर फोर ही इज कॉल्ड सुभेक्षण आचार्य शंकर इज सो फैसिनेटेड बै दिस नेम हि फर्दर एक्सटेन्स इन एक्सपैंड एक्सपैंड टू मेक अस इंस्पायर सी हाउ हि एक्सपैंड ईक्षण ये शुभक नराण फॉर नर नराण ऑल ऑफ अस ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ई क्षण इज शुभक इट इज ऑस्पीशियस and then he explains further just not shubhakaram for narana but what all does that do mumukshunam mokshadam dam giving dam is not our dam dam means the one who gives what moksha for mumukshunam are we really mumukshus do we really want bhagwan how often do we remember him there is so much of gap between one remembrance of bhagwan to the other remembrance of bhagwan is it not so much of gap fully filled between with what vishaya shakti is it not whereas mumukshus one thought and the other thought of vishaya shakti is very very far 
fully filled with Bhagavan's thoughts. That is the difference. Therefore, mumukshunam mokshadam for such people who think of him only, ananyaha chintayantaha, no other thought. For them, he provides moksha, he provides liberation, he provides jnanam and he also provides the wisdom and then the anubhava. Therefore, mumukshunam mokshadam, bhogartinam bhogadam. For people who are pleasure oriented, he says, Tike le lo tathastu. Very many times we don't get what we desire for, that is because we are not yet prepared for it. Or we have not yet prepared, meaning what? We have not yet come to deserve. But in case we deserve pleasure, Bhagavan says, tathastu, enjoy, finish. But don't create more desires. That we don't listen. We multiply. We don't add desires. We multiply desires with the same number. <laughs> Think. But Bhagavan says, okay, <coughs> children will ask for chocolate. If you give them a gold chain, they don't want gold chain. Why? They don't understand the value of the gold chain. They will say chocolate. Isn't it? They are so happy with chocolate. You give them gold chain, they look at it, they don't know what to do. They might even wear one or two times and then throw it away and go. Why? Value is not known. So, Bhogarthinam, the one who are valuing the Bhogavastu, Vishaya, and the one who have not yet understood the value of Bhagavan, for them, ya, what is that shloka? Yo yo yam yam tanum bhaktya shraddhaya architum ichasi. Tasya tasyam phalam shraddham tame vavida dhamyaham. Whatever you ask for bhakti, I will give you that. If you ask me, I am available. I am unemployed, Bhagavan says. I will come to you. I want to come to you. But we say, wait, I have a list. Give that first. And then we will see. Think. Sarva sandeha vit. He is the Karanam. He is the Karana cause for Sarva Sandeha Vicheda for people who are or rather who are interested in learning, knowing. For them, he provides jnanam and clears. Vicheda means clearing of what? Sarva Sandeha, all doubts. Sarva Sandeha Vicheda Karanam. Papinam pavanam abba. This we like this. Why? All are papis only. Doing so much of unwanted, irrelevant, unrighteous things in life. All of us are papis only, honestly. Exceptions, okay, exceptions sustained if you feel bad. But definitely you will understand. Papinam pavanam. He definitely provides that atmosphere wherein we also think, we also introspect and in that introspection, in case we do, then little bit of sins are cleared through what? Understanding. When that understanding honestly dawns in our mind, we will definitely, if not eradicate, we will at least reduce our papa karma. We will reduce our pleasurable actions. That which leads to again samsara. Papinam pavanam hridaya granthehe vichedakaram. Hridaya grantha meaning the knots in our hridaya. What is this knot? In the thread we know not. What is this hridaya? Knots in our hridaya. Knots are of two types. One type is called is uh, is caused out of vishaya sakti, where this one I have not yet got. I need this that one. This I enjoyed, but little more will be nice. That is very interesting. This appears not possible, but if it is there, it is nice. These are all knots in our heart, which has no time to think of Bhagavan. The other knot is very interesting. 
because of the time taken away by the vishaya sakti brahma sakti or bhagavat asakti is kept far away and people who realize are pained Chha, all these are, are wasteful i am not able to think of bhagavan this thought of not being able to think of bhagavan alone and not getting caught in samsara bandhana is the second type of knot and if that knot is released then the mind becomes purer mind becomes simpler mind becomes so simple that it doesn't want anything other than bhagavan but for the mind to reach there that those knots which are there in the heart which are also another type of knot we may say all the regrets of our past all the regrets of our own past actions our pain caused out of anxieties for the future param puja gurudev says these three things if we can avoid we are with bhagwan what are the regrets of the past anxieties for the future and excitement in the present in the present also when we have that opportunity we lose the opportunity oh what if i lose the opportunity are opportunity is there do something we are lost why oh i i don't know whenever i think of bhagwan then suddenly something else comes to my mind i am unable to think of bhagwan again we regret think so these are all called hridaya granthi granthi not and in fact it we have to understand it as plural granthe vichheda karam bhagavan's thoughts will remove will reduce what all these knots of the heart all the pain in our heart all the regrets in our heart all the anxieties and excitements in the heart it will remain that is why nama smaranat anya upayam nahi pashyami when i take the name of the lord when i sit and think of bhagavan and in that thought process i create a habit in the mind of thinking of bhagavan when i don't create this habit mind thinks of vishaya think idle mind devils workshop therefore i prepare the mind to constantly think of bhagavan so that my mind will no more be interested in all the vishaya sakti therefore hridaya granthe vichheda karam sarva karmanam kshapanam it's a very beautiful thought sarva karmanam all the karmas whatever do kshapanam has got to mean one is karmas will be successful at the same time karmas will not lead to another samsara when when my mind is completely directed towards bhagwan and therefore sarva karmanam kshapanam successful as well as does not lead will not be a failure avidyayascha nivartakam bhagavan's thought will remove avidya now here we have to think a little more just thinking of bhagavan how will avidya go avidya is so strong samsara maya is so strong how can just thinking of bhagavan avidya can be removed very simple whenever such thoughts are there we must actually understand the process of such thoughts when i keep thinking of bhagavan the thought of bhagavan becomes stronger and stronger which leads to unknowingly which leads to the thought of vishayas becoming weaker and weaker let us say we have been supplied with 100 units of thoughts 
in fact there is no end there is no limit at all 1234 thoughts per second per second is our capacity just for the sake of understanding we will just take a ball pack figure of 100 thoughts per minute okay out of 100 thoughts of uh, per minute how many thoughts do i give it to bhagwan and how many thoughts will i give it to the vishaya shakti and how many thoughts i give it for all boring unwanted things and how many uh, how many time, how much of time do i waste in sleeping if you actually see we hardly think of bhagwan 24 hours per day are, are given to us is it not multiplication you all do it in calculator because uh, do nobody these days does a cal- calculation with uh, pen and paper or pencil or paper do it in calcul- uh, calculator how many minutes how many seconds we have per day and how many seconds leave alone minute how many seconds do we think of bhagwan it is bhagwan who has given time to us and we have no time for bhagwan we are so engrossed so involved so rather indulged in what in vishaya shakti therefore now please note very carefully one step ahead <coughs> because i have habituated my mind with vishaya shakti mind will run behind that only habit think when i have the strengthened vishaya shakti mind whenever there is time it will think of everything and being only why habit h a b i t i keep telling this remove h a bit remains remove a bit remains remove b it remains that is habit now what do i do i change the habit consciously now what do i do i take the name of the lord shri ram shri ram shri ram or shri krishna shri krishna shiva 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 any any of your ishta devata i take that name and constantly chant i repeatedly chant when i am in the bus traveling or when i am at home sitting instead of today's the world instead of watching that idiot box called tv it is definitely worth taking the name of the lord is it not what is there in that tv tell me we are again and again being drawn into worldly affairs worldly thoughts and we get caught one uh, this is samsara granthi we talked about hridaya granthi this is samsara granthi unknowingly we get tied we get knots and we are unable to release ourselves like some people want to do yoga suddenly soda bottle inspiration suddenly one day they decide from tomorrow i will do yoga put the leg behind the neck and get caught there until somebody else comes to release it think when our mind is the caught with the samsara bandhana nama sankirtana will slowly loosen the knot think loosening the knot itself is a great achievement please don't underestimate loosening the knot out of 24 hours if you are with vishaya shakti for let us say 23 hours and 55 minutes 5 minutes by mistake out of rare habit created in the childhood you may give it to bhagwan but even at that time you are busy wondering what will the next call come where will the next message come etc etc think if that can increase by 10 minutes to bhagwan your vishaya shakti has reduced by 10 minutes think the more i increase bhagavad asakti the more my vishaya shakti will reduce now i have to decide what should be more and what should be less think therefore avidyaya chanivartakam meaning what my act 
activities my indulgences my involvement created out of avidya what is avidya i am ananda swarupah and all these vishayas cannot give me that ananda which is permanent which is eternal everlasting never ending complete this knowledge born out of quietening the mind with the namasmarana will increase as long as i associate myself with bhagavan nama or good activities also they can also bring purity of mind and they can in turn in the process reduce vishaya shakti what is vishaya shakti avidya what is avidya vishaya shakti simple equation therefore avidya yascha nivartakam sah subhekshana how beautiful this nama is it not bhidyate hridaya granthi chidyante sarva samshaya क्षीयते चास्य कर्मा तस्ंदृष्टे परावरे उपनिषद से तस्ंदृष्टे वंस ई गेन हिस् विशन हिस् दृष्टि तस्ंदृष्टे परावरे देर इज नथिंग मोर टू बी गाड इट इस अलटिमेट भिद्यते हृदय ग्रंथि इट विल रिलीज एंड क्लियर ऑल दि नाट्स ऑफ दि हृदय chidyante sarva samshayaha all our doubts regarding bhagavan regarding vishaya shakti please note our doubts of all the vishaya shakti and our doubts of all uh, about bhagavan both gets cleared and obviously naturally spontaneously the mind will seek bhagavan because it will know it will come to understand it will gain the wisdom of the truth of bhagavan and the falsehood of the vishayas chidyante sarva samshaya kshiyante chasya karmani kshiyante all the karmas what we are doing will become irrelevant tasmin drishte when my mind sees him as paravare as the supreme therefore such a vision now please note having said all this we what is the ultimate uh, knowledge here one knowledge is think of bhagavan which is auspicious and then bhagavan will in turn think of us which is also auspicious and in that auspiciousness grows vidya and it will eliminate avidya a small light lit in a dark room slowly brings in light is it not and when there is light coming up darkness automatically moves away tasmin drishte paravare therefore he is called subhekshana we will take the next shloka another beautiful set of namas each one is so beautifully interconnected especially the first 3 4 namas are so beautifully interconnected we will read ramo viramo virajo margo neyo nayo nayah veera shakti matam shreshtho dharmo dharma viduttamah रामो विरामो विरजो मार्गो नेयो नयो नय वीरशक्तिमता श्रेष्ठो धर्मो धर्म विदुत्तम लेवन नाम वन नाम इज सफिशियंट फॉर द होल लाइफ टू अंडरस्टैंड the one nama first nama rama whole life is not sufficient to understand this nama is it not we will see rama ha nityananda lakshane asmin yogina ramante iti rama ha 
योगिन ऑल दोज हु आर इंटरेस्टेड टू यूनाइट विथ भगवान वाट इज योग युज्यते योग युज्यते मीनिंग वाट युज धातु धातु इन संस्कृत मीन्स टू यूनाइट टू असोसिएट टू कम इन टू कॉन्टैक्ट विथ टू एक्चुअली सी एक्सपीरियंस एंजॉय ऑल दिस कैन बी एडेड अप बट वॉट इज द मेन मीनिंग टू यूनाइट योग इज टू यूनाइट टू गेन योगिन द वन हु हेव सेट देर लाइफ set their life meaning what those people who have taken their life to be the only time the only purpose is to reach bhagavan only they are called as yogina all others are preparing no doubt but the one who has set himself that bhagavan alone is my truth Bhagavan alone is my destination. All others are ephemeral. All others are flim flimsy. None of them will help me. Agama apa ina ha anitya ha sarva ha. The one who has understood yogi na ha. Ramante. What a beautiful word. Ramante, the one who gets delighted, who gets into bliss, who gets into joy. in fact a very small mind uh, mini cule of such a, such a yogis we see in our daily life there are so many people who stand in front of bhagwan and unknowingly you can see them you know with tears in their eyes you go to any beautiful temple and then you see a beautiful alankara of bhagwan you don't have to go to temple today technology provides darshan tirupati darshan you can see in your laptop in your mobile the moment you see a beautiful alankara to bhagavan mind is absorbed isn't it when the mind is absorbed by the very darshan of bhagavan the mind gets excited the mind gets curious to know more about bhagwan think and then bhagavad leela bhagavat katha bhagavat chintana bhagavan nama bhajans on bhagwan so many times we see people shed tears of joy those are small little moments small little moments when the mind gets associated with bhagwan gets united with bhagwan and in that unity with that bhagwan you will find there is so much of delight there is so much of joy there is so much of love there is so much of care there is so much of experience that that anubhava can never be expressed that is why it is said experience can never be expressed and that which is expressed can never be the experience think this anubhava of what of bhagwan is so delightful in fact our thoughts about vishayas only brings agitations brings disturbance brings unnecessary vibrations brings unnecessary distraction and there you find even though you might play one rock music in the uh, let us say uh, musical instrument and you may probably dance with that rock music of the latest movie whatever may be but after some time you will only be tired the mind gets so disturbed so vibrant that you can't function any useful activity cannot be done after that but think of bhagwan and that bhagwan's thoughts bhagwan's anubhava 
quietens the mind and the mind becomes more vigilant more alert more capable more you know directed channelized towards any activity i remember my grandmother used to say go chant one shloka there do namaskaram then come and sit and study i definitely vouch for that thought because i have experienced that when i go chant a few shlokas or one stotra do namaskaram with mind in bhagavan that is underlined that is obvious with mind in bhagavan when i apply one tilaka do namaskara then go and do namaskara to the parents it must go together whoever is there at home if they are not there grandmother is always there eternally there go do a namaskaram and then sit and study the very composure of the mind is so beautiful and with that composed collected quiet very well prepared mind study becomes very simple study becomes so wonderful study becomes more clearer think this anubhava of what thought of bhagavan thought of rama ramante it makes you delightful it makes you so joyful in fact it is that one thing which you will not want to come out when when the mind is with bhagavan but those who are vishaya saktah not yogina vishaya saktah for them they want even in temple the mind will go to vishaya only even in temple it gets disturbed only how unfortunate how sad think yoginah ramante they enjoy they revel revel with what lakshane that word is very beautiful lakshane lakshane meaning what in the nature of of what nitya ananda lakshane ananda lakshane in the experience of ananda joy bliss think vishaya ananda is ephemeral let us say i love coffee i drink coffee. you all have experience first sip or second sip of a coffee is brahmanandam in fact one acharya says any anandam means it is ramaha coffee anandam is also ramaha why ramante that coffee after fourth or fifth sip you don't even realize that you are drinking a coffee in case you are drinking or more often than not you have find many many people who have forgotten that there was a coffee who are they people who love coffee people who enjoy coffee who get delighted in coffee but what happens after four that thought goes away that is that is the nature of vishaya shakti it cannot remain two more often than not vishaya shakti only will only create disturbance even physically physical problem emotional disturbance intellectual incapacity is vishayananda whereas atmananda Ra- ramananda is that which will delight you with what nityananda lakshane with eternal happiness limitless happiness think nityanandal nityanandalakshane asmin ramante iti ramah he who makes all his people his devotees experience enjoy revel in ananda that is ramah now this is only 1% of ramah ha let me also be very clear we have to proceed also isn't it otherwise for eternity i can talk on rama hmm? 
So today we will proceed with our Nitya Karma. We will conclude this talk today here. Continue tomorrow. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om